What is up, Wanderers? You ready for another bag review? Let's do it. This is gonna be a big one. <laughs> How's that for a boom? All right, so we haven't done this before. Usually we're all about the backpacks, the sling bags, the messengers. Uh, today I wanted to review a, a bit of carry-on, a roller bag from Maxpedition, okay? So very excited to review this bag. There is a lot going on with this bag. Um, as you can see, um, I travel with this bag quite a bit. Um, I didn't even take the sticker off from the last trip. Boom. <laughs> All right. So let's dive in. You know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. We're going to do a full walkthrough of this bag inside and outside. We're gonna get into all the pockets and all the nooks and crannies, and then we're gonna do two things we love about this bag, two things, mm, not so much, and then an overall uh, answer to the question, should you buy this bag? All right, so this is the carry-on bag from Maxpedition, and we have a lot going on on the exterior of this bag for a carry-on. Um, you've got, um, first off, this kind of tactical look and feel. You've got a little bit of morale patch um, Velcro down here. You've got some uh, Molly webbing up top on this pocket, which we will get into in a second. You've got a grab handle on the side. You've got a grab handle on this side. You've got a hard panel on the back um, that is rubberized. You can see I've got a scratch on mine, protected the bag well. You've got a rubberized bottom section as well. Um, you've got wheels and, of course, a luggage handle. So, lots of features on this bag and uh, most of them fairly typical for a carry-on bag. Um, you do have also some attachment points if you wanted to carry this kind of messenger style, um, but this is a big bag and I can't imagine really wanting to carry this messenger style when you can roll it or carry it from a grab handle, especially when this grab handle is so good. All right. So that's the exterior walk around of this bag. The whole bag is in like a really durable nylon material. Um, I've had no issues. I've had this bag for multiple years now and no issues with the durability of the bag as you would expect from Maxpedition. Now, you are going to be paying up a premium for this product because you are buying from Maxpedition. This bag is about $350 when last I checked on their website. It's a very expensive bag. Let's talk about um, the full interior pocket review and then we'll talk about, we'll get into that price point. All right, let's start up top here. You have up top a very, very usable top pocket that is not, that is kind of nylon lined, feels like a dop kit in there. Um, and it is separated from the entire rest of the suitcase. That is a drop pocket you can use for anything and it is the most accessible pocket when you're kind of rolling around through the airport with this bag. Um, I find myself using that for all my cords, anything that I want to get to uh, really quickly, okay? You can attach things to the outside of this bag, um, extra pouches, things like that, but honestly, um, I, I almost never do that. Uh, because this is, you know, a carry-on suitcase that I'm rolling through an airport and kind of putting up into um, um, overhead compartments. And yeah, it, it's just not one that I am shoving a lot of extra bags and attachments onto. Um, but it's there if you can think of a use for it or if you're traveling and it doesn't involve airplanes. Okay, so you can unvelcro this handle here. And then you have this whole front panel that opens up on this bag, okay? What do you have inside? Well, you got a couple of things. You've got some um, extra straps for retaining and organizing uh, clothing inside this bag. And then you have another zipper on the inside, which we'll get into in a second here, where you can do a pass-through to the interior of the bag. You also have some extra, um, let's call them dividers that you can Velcro in place in different sections um, to divide this, to subdivide this compartment any way that you want. So very usable top pocket there. And then inside of the pocket, you've got another pouch that is uh, mesh um, and you can use that for dirty clothes or toiletries or anything. 
Um, so everything is good about that inside pouch there. You also have zipper pulls um, to make it easier to open. Now, let's do the deed and open up the main compartment. All right, so here's what we have going on in the main compartment. We have um, that pass-through that I mentioned earlier to the, uh, to the front of the suitcase is ac accessible from this side. You have another pocket inside here to further subdivide things. You've got more Velcro on the sides here. It's not from round patches, it's again so you can divide. You can put these dividers in to uh, create some additional space over there. And then you've got a little bit of extra storage down to the back hard side of the suitcase, the, the plastic part. So you can zip something in there, um, or um, if you want to, just take that out. Um, I've never really seen a need for hiding anything under there, um, but you could if you had something that was soaking wet, toss it in there and keep it away from the rest of your laundry. Okay, so there's a lot going on with this bag. In the interior compartment here, you have one pocket section, a section under here, and then a third mesh pocket back here. So lots of different subdivided sections of this bag, and then the top pocket up top. So, let's talk about this bag. I've used this on lots of big trips. I use it all the time. It's incredibly convenient. Um, the question is gonna come down to, is it worth the money? Because you can also get a similarly sized bag for you know, $59 to $99. Do you need to pay up for the Maxpedition brand? And is the functionality of this bag worth the price? Okay, first. Two things that I really like about this bag. The first thing that I really like about this bag is a very simple thing, but I, I don't know how I ever lived without it on my other suitcases. So it's this front handle. So when you secure this front handle, and it's just Velcro, so it's nothing fancy. When you secure this front handle, I love being able to grab my suitcase by the top part, okay? So that functionality right there is priceless for me. I absolutely love that feature. I use it every time I travel with this bag. I use this handle and I use the rollers and I use the handles on the sides. Like being able to grab this bag from any angle as you are tossing it up in carry-on compartments, as you're pulling it um, you know, off of uh, rental car buses, <laughs> out of the trunk of, a, of your car, any of that. It's really, really useful, really usable, okay? Um, so that's the first thing I love about this bag. The second thing I really love about this bag is how you're able to subdivide the main compartment. It's very customizable. So we'll open it up again. Most suitcases have this, right? Most suitcases give you comp compartment here, compartment here, divided by a flap. That's not unusual. I like the pouch here. Inside here, there's another pouch. Um, so I love the just the, the customizability. And again, you know, you can kind of move dividers around inside this and add different dividers. It's a really neat suitcase on the inside. So the customizability of the main compartment and the divisions of the main compartment, the grab handle locations on the outside. I love. All right. What do I not love so much about this bag? It's just a couple of things. It's just a couple of little things. Um, for this bag, I wish they had gone with um, waterproof zippers. Okay, I just want the most premium. If I'm gonna pay up $350 to $400 for a bag, I really want the best around. Um, I would have liked some, water, some weather guard zippers. I also would have liked, and this is thing number two, a laptop sleeve. So somewhere in here, somewhere, there's all kinds of places they could have put it, a laptop sleeve I think would have been a good addition. Uh, maybe right in here, um, I don't know. There's a lot of places I think you could have put a laptop sleeve. The, a tech sleeve slash tablet sleeve slash laptop sleeve I think would have been a nice touch on this bag. Okay, that's the two things we like, the two things we don't like so much. Now we come back to the overall recommendation. I balk at the price, I gotta be honest with you, but, but even though I say that, 
I do recommend this bag because I haven't thought once about buying a new suitcase since I got this bag. I never wonder which bag am I going to grab. I never wonder which carry-on is the right one. Uh, I've got a couple of suitcases at the house that are buried in the back of a closet now, and this one's always up front. It is the only one I use. And so I think that tells you the story. Since I've had this, there's been no need to even think about anything else in terms of luggage solutions. It, it's pretty perfect. I use it every single trip. If I'm bringing a suitcase, it's this suitcase. So do I recommend it? I do. Know what you're paying, but you're getting a premium product and you're getting a premium product that is going to last a long dang time. This one still looks brand new and I've been using it pretty constantly traveling all over the place. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Links to everything in the video description as always. Please make sure you like the video if you did indeed like the video. If you're new, we'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more video reviews. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for coming by. Bye for now.